what's good everybody so I know it's been a long time since you've probably seen my face in any recent time the last video I uploaded was a was a closed uh, Nick's Gyros in Phillies um, that place is actually open I filmed that video in like summer 2021 that place has since reopened and you can go check it out so if you're in the mood for like some gyros or something some Phillies you know some good old Philly cheese steaks, some salads shrimp I think that place had some seafood crabs I'm pretty sure they've redone everything uh, and, it, and it's uh, open for business so if you're in the mood for that go check it out go support them um, and see what they're like I haven't eaten there yet um, but uh, maybe you'll like it so anyway uh, this video is titled <clears throat> happy 60th birthday Kmart and I wanted to get a video out just pretty much marking the 60th anniversary of Kmart because I know that I haven't really gotten much out and in fact there are anniversary was March 1st and it's March 28th when I'm filming this video uh, I want to give a shout out to Andrew uh, I saw his documentary of pretty much closing out the retail chapter on his channel at least for Kmart's um, Wally recently filmed some Kmart's uh, video it thinks that'll be getting some videos out shortly um, who else I think slacking packing uh, tilt the tripod Griffin uh, maybe some other Steve, Alex, uh, just people that I've seen uh, that have covered Kmart and, and talked about the their, their birthday and all of that. But, um, you know, this very well may be the last. Uh, 60 years of savings, tremendous company. I want to give credit where credit is due. You know, Eddie Lampert, as much as we don't like the guy, if it wasn't for him, and, and believe me, this, this... <sighs> I don't like I don't like the actions done to so-called preserve the company because there wasn't much done to save it or preserve it in any means. But other than you know re remodeling a logo, which pretty much I think kind of made it look boring. The '90s logo is a logo that many people are more familiar with. Yet you know this new logo that was introduced in 2004 uh, as a result of the Sears Holdings uh, parent company creation. Um, you know it made this new logo with a blank K and a lowercase Kmart, uh, like, script under it. I, I, I think that it looks pretty subtle, but I actually like the 90s logo, just because I think that looks more iconic, and when you think of Kmart, you either think of the 70s one that had the, that iconic one that they were founded on, or the 90s logo. When you think, when you look at that new logo, I don't, I've never been to a store that, actually I take that back, the Somerville store that I didn't film, this is before I started YouTube, had that logo on it, but pretty much I haven't been to a Kmart other than that one, uh, with that logo, and I haven't seen many of them, either, coincidentally, the last three that are left in the US have that logo on them, kind of funny, um, <clears throat> but speaking of, yeah, there's only three left, I would say four, but, uh, <laughs> can't really do that because there is only three um, I believe that it is the Avenel store that's closing. Uh, it was announced to close. It was getting a lot of media coverage, so it's kind of funny that that one is the one that's being shuttered. I believe its last day of operation is April 17th of 2021. I'm sorry, 2022. It was announced to close, I want to say, March 7th-ish, March 8th. Uh, they were only announced to... They only had, at the time of the announcement... A little over a month and a less than a week uh, left to operate, which is weird because it usually takes a retail store, from what I've understood, a little bit over two months, maybe a little bit under two months to close. But since this store is, you know, since Kmart itself is in the state that it's in, it really doesn't take much, and that's really sad. I mean, I've seen pictures of the Kindle, my, uh, the Kindle, Florida, Miami slash Miami, Florida store. I'm not sure what city that is down there in Florida, though. It's the only store that's in, left in the southeast. That store is barren. I think they've walled off like 35% of the store because there's nothing left to be sold over there. So they've just had to wall it off, which is really sad. I mean, nine times out of 10, that's a company that's just on, on its last legs. And in its current state, the way that it is, there's really not much left. Um, some controversial news I've seen, Eddie Lampert has actually retired from Transformco. I read an article that was released on March 1st, coincidentally, that uh, Eddie Lampert has retired and stepped down from Transform Co. and is, and is like no longer uh, ahead of it. 
I don't really know this to be true. I've only read one article. I think it was by Forbes or, or MSN or something, a uh, website like that. But I'd have to confirm that to be true. But even if this is, I think the damage has pretty much been done. Uh, but like I was saying earlier, you know, to give credit where credit is due, Eddie Lampert, if it wasn't for him stepping in, there was a chance Kmart would have went out back in 2002. It would have been the largest bankruptcy. It was the largest bankruptcy filing of any retailer. And it would have been the largest mass liquidation sale of any retailer to exist still to this day if they would have closed all their stores. But they didn't. I can't really say that that's a blessing other than the fact that I've been able to visit some Kmarts and pretty much been able to see them in the 21st century, I guess you could say. If this is the 21st century, I'm not sure, man. I'm, I'm, you gotta forgive me if I didn't get that right. Um, but pretty much be able to see them in modern day because if they had all closed back then, I would have never been able to visit one, ever. And so I, I guess I can be grateful for that. <clears throat> but when you look at it now, it's like really just to like slowly just close all of them and just have employees wonder, is my store gonna get announced to close? You know, or they release a huge list. Is our store on this list type of thing? Um, but with that said, man, I don't want to leave this on a sour note. Um, I want to leave you guys with some positive, uh, happy reels of photos. And, um, I'll probably, I've only filmed one Kmart. That was the Mableton GA store. Um, I want to try and make a little happy, you know, kind of fun celebration of Kmart and remembering it for what it was worth in the good old days. Because as we all know, their days, excuse me, in general are numbered and it's only a matter of time. Shout out to everyone in the retail community that's been covering these last few stores. Um, because, again, like I said, it's only a matter of time. And it's really unfortunate. As for Sears, there hasn't really been a lot of news about Sears going out. Although, you know, Sears does have more stores than Kmart. I'm not really, they don't really look too good either. Um, in terms of how much stock is left in the stores. But Sears is doing better just because of the amount of stores. And the they have several platforms, Home and Life, uh, Outlet. Uh, hometown and the full line uh, stores, set of stores. Kmart's only got regular ones, regular department stores, and it hasn't been doing too great. But anyway, man, to wrap it up on a positive note, thank you guys for watching this video. Happy 60th years of savings to Kmart. 60 years of savings. What a company. What a ride. You know, I'll still support Kmart. You know, if I go to a Walmart store, if I go to a Target store, if I have the chance to wear my, my white Big K hat, believe me, I'm going to do it. Um, you know, change of the times, man, and you got to keep up with that. If you don't, prime example of what happens. Um, thank you for all the memories, Kmart, for everything that you guys have done for many people across retail. I'm sure that a lot of people that have grown up with the company will remember it if you, you know, mention it to them. They probably won't remember it off the top of their head, but, you know, I'm sure that some people can say, oh, I remember shopping there 30 years ago, you know, but regardless... Thanks for all the memories. <sighs> Until next time, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support. Hang in there with me. I'll, I'll try and get back out to getting some new videos in the future. <sighs> and to end it off, make the best of you every moment. Thanks for choosing Z-Man. And thank you, Kmart, for everything. I'll see you guys later. Peace.